Crime, COVID, and social unrest have all taken a toll on downtown Minneapolis. The mayor admits it's never going to be the same. But there is a new plan to bring the area back to life. It includes fewer city buses and relaxing the rules around booze. WCCO's Reg Chapman explains the recommendations and reaction. We're going to have to change. We're going to have to be different. We're going to have to lean into areas that might not have been tried yet. Mayor Fry's vibrant downtown storefront work group releases recommendations on how to get people downtown. A big part of that is filling empty storefronts, both on the street level and in the Skyway. Right now, only about 60% of those storefronts are in use. The goal is to reach 80 to 85%. Mayor Fry says nothing is off the table. One proposal to revitalize downtown Minneapolis would be to make Nicollet Mall pedestrian only. That would mean removing bus traffic from the mall and allowing people to walk around freely. Some we spoke would say they are all in when it comes to making downtown more pedestrian friendly. But I think if they do close some of that up and open up other little venues and activities on the mall, it should bring in a lot of more people. The group also recommends special events where streets are closed and people can walk around with alcohol. One business owner believes more needs to be done to make downtown Minneapolis a destination for people to work, live, and visit. Just by opening up Nicollet Mall and taking the buses and stuff off there, that's not going to make it vibrant. We need people down here. We need workers down here. We need people that live down here. We need to bring back the city. And the only way you're going to do that is the, by the business people coming back downtown and the security being here that they feel comfortable to walk from hotel to the office, to the loon, to the ball games. That's what we need. Others we spoke would agree. Until there is a true sense of safety, people will avoid downtown. Nobody wants to come down here. If, you know, they're afraid of getting shot or... I don't come down here at night, only in the day. Reg Chapman, WCCO News. The report also recommends ramping up public safety downtown. Now, some of these changes could take years, but the report says the city should immediately direct $150,000 to launch these efforts.